Welcome back to Houston Newsmakers, and welcome to Dwileen Lindsay, the founder and president of Children for Tomorrow, and Dr. Craig Childress, a clinical psychologist who's diagnosed psychological child abuse due to high conflict within divorce and custody cases, something probably many of you don't think about. Good morning to both of you. Thank you. Good morning. Dwayne, what was it that led you to start this organization? Uh, well, I, was, I had some children that were close to my heart, and um, there was a lot of conflict going through divorces with these children, and I could see that there was emotional abuse. At the time, I didn't know anything about parental alienation, so, um, but I just wanted to stop this emotional turmoil that these kids were going through. So I said, you know what, I'm not gonna get mad about it. I'm just gonna do something about it. So we, uh, my daughter, my best friend and I, we started a nonprofit organization. Mm -hmm. And about a year and a half, or a year and a half ago, I met Dr. Childress and he had done this. Okay. He had um, solved all this and, and I recognized everything that he was telling in his book about parental alienation. Uh, and I said, this is the word, this is, it's not, Emotional, it, it is emotional abuse, but it's, this is the word. Dr. Childress, what is it that people would need to know about the impact that their actions as parents could have on children that would be so negative? Um, in most families, they deal with the divorce transition well and, and successfully transition into a, a healthy, separated family. But there are, in a number of families, the spousal conflict takes over one of the spouses and they begin to use the child as a weapon against the other spouse. And that's what we're most concerned about here was, is weaponizing the child in the spousal conflict that destroys the child's relationship with the other spouse who is a normal range parent, a loving parent, an available parent. And with that knowledge, what is it that you as an organization wants to do, taking some of his knowledge and putting it together as part of a program to make a difference in the community? So what we want to do is we want to educate the community. We want to educate the mental health. We want to train them and certify them to work with the court system. We want to educate our judges. We want to educate our amicus attorneys. We want to educate our attorneys. Um, a lot of those people, they have a concept of this, but they really don't understand it. Dr. Childress, what is the challenge you see in trying to make that happen? It's one thing to have that on paper <laughs> saying this is what we want to do. I, I get a sense that you probably know what some of the realities are in trying to put that in place and making sure that the court system kind of understands it and is a part of the process with you. That's right. And the, the, the major challenge is getting the level of professional expertise in mental health to provide to the court the guidance necessary to deal with this really complex family issue that right now um, the mental health system is failing the court system in identifying and solving this. And so our goal with the pilot program with the courts is to increase the level of professional expertise in mental health that can be offered to the court to solve these high conflict divorce cases. Mm -hmm. What kind of other programs do you have in place? Uh, right now we have uh, what the courts use as a parenting class and uh, that it teaches the uh, people how to kind of get along as they're going through divorce and uh, we teach them about emotional abuse and the consequences it has upon their children and we kind of go to kind of go into them to understand what was going on through their life and this might be the reason that things are happening with your children and so it's really a kind of a generational um, type of um, what do you call it generational conflict within mm -hmm. the families. Dr. Childress, this is the time of the year, the holidays. It, it's, it seems mm -hmm. to me that stress can oftentimes go up during the holidays. Mm -hmm. um, is there anything about it, the times of the year that might create more stressful situations within families and therefore for children as well? In, in this type of pathology, it goes throughout the year. One of the most tragic elements though, about the holiday season is that one parent has destroyed the child's relationship with the other parent. And so it, it destroyed the family and, the, and so the child doesn't spend the holidays with them. Sometimes these parents haven't seen their beloved child in a couple of years. Mm -hmm. And so it's very tragic for the parents and for the children to, um, to miss their parents during this special time. Well, I wanna make sure that people know about your organization 
and how they can get involved and help you because I know you need some funding help to yes. make sure that happens as well. So we're going to put all of the information, contact information on our newsmakers page, okay. clicktohouston.com, and your contact okay. information as well for anyone else who wants to have information about helping to solve these kinds of conflicts. Okay. Good deal? Thank you. Thank you, yeah. Thank yeah. you for Thanks coming so in. Appreciate you my coming pleasure. in from California. Yeah, huh? my too pleasure. Bad, too bad you couldn't come up with a win yeah. in the World Series in California. Oh, <laughs> hey, yeah, Houston was great. Houston You're great. Was great. Thank you so much here. Hey,